in Tanzania. <laughs> Day three of climbing the Kilimanjaro, which is over there. And right now it's dry, but it's been raining all the time for the last three, day last three days. So hopefully the weather will get a bit better. Lekker <laughs> temperature! And it can be minus 15, minus 20 at night here. So we have these sleeping bags where we sleep with our clothes in. So that's nice. We're in Kibo Hut now. Uh, last hut before we stand up the summit. Guys, we're almost at the top of the Kilimanjaro! We're almost, almost there. We're now at 5,685 meters. Watch out, we're here! <laughs> this is the most beautiful view I've ever seen in my life. Looking out for a new horizon. Reaching out, I can only see the place. Holding on with the heart that's frozen. Together with one group, we created such an amazing experience and we shared this together and we fucking climbed the Kilimanjaro. Good to be back in my end. No, I'm, uh, I've locked myself up in my uh, studio room for the last two and a half months. And this is the week where I'm finally gonna play all the new stuff, showcase the new stuff, showcase the new shows, showcase the new visuals, lights, everything. It's gonna be sick. I'm excited. I missed the Miami sunsets. I missed Miami. Two Garrick Labs. One of them is in Amsterdam, um, where I make all my music, and then we have a like a portable Garrick Lab here, where we have the lighting desk, a visual desk, um, and of course a laser operator, and we have three screens and a DJ set. So we just play the music, and then I can look at the show, and whenever there's something which I don't like, I'm like, oh, change that, or they're like, oh yeah, whoa, this is cool, we're gonna change that. This show is different because we pulled in a huge team. We got new content created. We pulled on a lighting and production team and they've been rehearsing for weeks on end. Something that not many people do. Ultra is such an important event for us and such you know, a big part of Martin's journey that we felt it's very important to you know, go all out for this show. Two years ago I was in the crowd, two years ago I DJed main stage, main stage slot daytime and last year they, uh, main stage slot nighttime and this year we're closing. So it's not only me growing as an artist but I also want the show to improve, to get better every, every new show we do. First week of February, I went to Los Angeles to program with uh, the lighting team and just to go through looks like brainstorm about what we're gonna do. It, it's, it's fun to be involved in a way more creative way in the show than just music. The more that you rehearse, the more you practice, the more that you lay down and set up how every single moment's gonna go, the more that we get out there and that energy that you have on stage gets out to the audience. Fuck yeah! Do shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all fucking. <laughs> Imagination. Welcome. Uh, we're both scheduled in the ill trap, and I'm excited. <laughs> It was 
crazy and I was super nervous and this year I'm even more nervous. But last year I played I like it was a big deal for me to play my own stuff, the entire set, but this year it's gonna be half of it, more than half of it, new stuff. I think I'm premiering ten or eleven new singles. Which is a lot. Last episode I announced that I was going to do my own record label and we just launched the record label called Stamped Records and um, I'm, I'm excited, I'm super happy. We released Know That I Found You with John Martin and Michelle Citron. Somewhere this year we will start signing other acts and release their music. So it's not only my music on Stamped but also from new talent and it's going to be like bands, like rappers, like it can be anything. I don't want it to be just an electronic dance music label, I want it to be broad and diverse and for new talent to, to be able to showcase their music. Everything is loading right now. Yo! Dude, there are pictures everywhere. If you check Facebook and etc, Damien Pinto puts it everywhere. Bullshit. What are you doing? Well, don't do anything that's gonna... What are you doing? Are you guys stupid? No, Stages no, no, no. on the internet everywhere. No, don't write anything like that. Look, call Adam. Don't... Don't play into that. No, I'm gonna just come No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. They want a reaction. Don't do that. No, I'm... Be better I'm than... Fucking don't, don't do that. Don't Dude, do that. it's gonna go viral. It's like how far ago. Wait, let me check. Uh, no, don't. It's just... No, this is... This is... You wanna post that? Yes. I don't think you should. I think you should call Adam and say, hey, this one out. Do you want me to take the photo down? What up? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> bro. What's going, bro? I'm, I'm working on my set, of course. Let me see some shit. Uh, I'm working on the music right now. The team is rehearsing in the other room. I posted a picture and you could see. Yeah. Uh, wait, I'm going to show it to you. I heard. Fuck is stupid. Adam, is it okay? <laughs> no, no, but yeah. I, don't, I don't want Ray or you or any of the team being mad. Oh my god, they, okay? just, they deleted my fucking comments. You good? I'm good, yeah, bro. Man. No worries. Cool, cheers. Alright, man. I told you, you feel better, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I love the internet. Internet is the best thing ever. <laughs> nah. On our way to the W, where we're gonna do some interviews and a meet and greet. And more interviews. And more interviews. And more. And then. Uh, more interviews! <laughs> wow! This year we're closing the main stage on Friday, which is for me. It's, it's crazy. I, uh, I still can't, can't really believe it. I want people to be happy. That's my number one goal. To create emotions and just create happiness. Long press day, but the day is long not over yet. Hey, how are you on me? How much preparation goes into making a main stage show at Ultra? I've been working with Ultra for so many years and I've never seen this. This is crazy. That's crazy. Those people are going to freak out. It's going to be sick. With all the new music. <laughs> They're going to freak out. I love seeing their response. Sometimes I want to talk to Elder and I turn around and I'm like, Pff, camera. <laughs> Ultra, it's you're like the main act. People are coming for you. The pressure is really high on your shoulders. I'm like 200% sure Martin Guys will nail it. 100%. I met this guy five years ago. He was doing something completely different. I was trying to be a DJ and producer, and he helped me a lot. Yeah, I was 15 years old, and I saw him backstage on Mr. Land. So I was asking, uh, yeah, what can I do for you? And he was saying, yeah, I want to try to give my music to some DJs. So. I gave him a backstage wrist wristband and now a few years later he's a big superstar so it's really funny how things can go.
For Mudhine, it's, it's, it's a big year for him. He's bringing in a new team, and I think that that, that is exciting, it's nervous. But I think more so, it's he's putting out a lot of new music, and he's going into uncharted waters, which is, you know, he's, he's taken that leap this year. He's gonna take that leap that a lot of people fear to, you know, do, because, you know, it's, there can be a fall to it, but you have to make that leap if you're gonna further your career. He has a lot of people supporting him this year. You know, Adam and everyone from Ultra is very excited and they, they are just an amazing team and everyone is just cheering him on. <laughs> We're back. It's crazy, dude. Look at this. Look at this fucking thing. We could bathe in all the lights. Would you rise up? Come and meet me in the sky. Would you trust me when you're jumping from the heights? Would you fall in the name of love? This is going to be a blast. I mean, seeing all this stuff that we've been working on for so Every long for come to life and be real. It's going to be like, It's going to be an awesome, awesome show. I think it, it was the right time and the right moment for me to just jump onto that part of the show and boost that part up because I know what I'm doing on stage, like I know what I'm doing in the studio, but there's much more to a show than just music. It's all about like triggering certain emotions, certain senses, certain energy. Ultra Music Festival is one of the most important statements you can do in dance music, especially in Miami and especially this year. And closing, it's the biggest thing you can do. We're all going to be there and we're all going to support and it's going to be fantastic. The success is enormous, as, as you know. The fan base is much wider. And Martin, the main thing is Martin's a little bit older now, which means his crowd's a little bit older, which means some people could actually get in the club now. It's so good to see. Well, fuck the boss, yo. <laughs> Fucking dik, vriend. We hebben die stream lopen kijken in de auto. En bij elke drop zaten we weer van fuck, man. Fucking gruwelijk. Ja, en dit kan ik gewoon nog openen. Maat, ik vond het echt tof. Echt fucking vet. Hallo, hallo. What's going on? You want arm wrestle? Jeremy. They just showed me the lighting. Why? You have to see it tonight. No, I just say I want to see it all, but they just showed me a little bit. They showed me into Tremor. You like? Oh, yeah, that's fucking sick, right? Crazy. Later, buddy.
now I'm relaxing. I'm just chilling, looking around me, letting it sink in that we're gonna close the main stage. <laughs> he's stepping out on a limb and he's gonna jump and we're all gonna be there just supporting him. He's gonna kill us tonight. Kill, kill, kill. Like lions in the wild. Like lions in the wild. This is the beginning of the next chapter, my friend. together with John and Michelle. So for the last time, if you guys have some energy left, let me hear you make some noise! For me, the highlight of the show is gonna be, um, I think the outro, when I play Now That I Found You, because it's like, it's kind of a statement, like, it's, it's my own song on my own label, headlining Ultra Main Stage, closing the night on Friday with the fireworks and everything. For me, I think, I, I, I never get really emotional on stage, but for me, I think that's going to be one of those moments where I'm going to have goosebumps everywhere and I'm going to try to keep it dry. We come one tonight, happy. It felt so good to play different shit. I've been in the studio for the last two months, finishing up ideas I created the last couple of years. And I wanted to do something different, something new, show a different side of Garrix. And I was so nervous to play all the new music, but every time I started in a new song and I saw a response, I got goosebumps. I can't even... This was insane. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Alright, you ready to go? Just let me chill. <laughs> fuck that. I can't believe we have to play another show in a bit. My body is like so much adrenaline. If I get more adrenaline right now, I'll get a heart attack. <laughs> that was so much fun. We just destroyed. Everyone was jittering before the show, like hand shaking, like. All right, cool, we got this in the first moment of um, the uh, lion's hit, and it was just like, we got this, let's do it. And we did it. It was dope. It was yeah, so we dope. Did it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you just absolutely dominated that thing. Love it.
A real superstar can go up there and he didn't even play like the big hit that he got known for originally on stage. He went and played all new records. He was completely fearless and he dominated and that's what everyone's talking about. It's his night. He owns the night. And everyone should be really happy and celebrating. Everyone worked really hard. And the best part, he's incredibly selfless and saying thank you to everyone on his night. Shows the kind of person he is. Because guess what? He was raised right. <laughs> he was raised right by this woman. Martin said Ultra the other night was absolutely spectacular. It's history in the making. You saw how his music evolved into a whole new sound. You can tell how much work and dedication he put into that set. The crowd was absolutely blown away. We all literally watched history in the making. We had the world's biggest DJs on hand, all there to see it themselves. And it was nothing short of absolutely spectacular. I'm so proud of him and all his work and effort of him, his team, and everybody. And he's just such an amazing human on top of all of it. He really is just one of the greatest people I know. So sick the way he was. Ultra to me was was amazing. For me, it was a dream coming true, closing the main stage and. And I prepared a lot of songs for Ultra, um, which I'm also going to perform for the rest of the summer. And it was really cool to, to put so much time and effort into the show with the team. And from there, we like putting it into like the show for the summer, for the summer tour. And of course, the sets will be totally different, but we'll still uh, use like the same lighting, the same, same visuals for those songs at the summer tour. And we've prepared a lot of new stuff, a lot of cool stuff for Ushuaia. I've had some of the best moments of my life last year at Ushuaia. And now the real chaos starts. Is this life, is it real? Do you feel the things that I feel? Close your eyes, disappear. And we can watch a burn, burn from here. Cause I'm rising higher than I've been before. And I'm ready. we never had with Mark Time, much stronger than, than last year and I think it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger all this summer.
I love pizza. Just, I love it so fucking much. It's amazing. You can go and have all those positions at all those festivals, and you can be that guy, and you can feel like an icon. But if your music is only relevant in a certain circle, then you're only relevant within that circle. But when your music transcends that circle and your music gets bigger than you and your genre and your scene, that's when you become a pop star. That's when you really transition into just something bigger than yourself and bigger than anything we can all expect. And I think it'll be fun to watch that journey. It has been fun, but I really think we're on the precipice of something even greater that none of us can really you know, plan for or expect. I really hope that that's, audible, uh, that that's audible enough that you can put that in the video. Yeah, yeah. that one should definitely make it that. <laughs> Alright, the Garrick Show, we're out.